Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents with one of our regular subscribing viewers. They had a dream, and his name is Brother Anthony. You've heard his name a number of times before. He has very intriguing dreams. Listen, this is more mysterious. I want you to pray and see if God gives you any revelation. Share it with the rest of us in the comment boxes below. Listen, I had a dream that I was in this big house. We were sitting with all these people at this long table. Okay, and I saw a man standing there. He looked just like Donald Trump. I mean, so much like him. He talked like him. He moved his hands like him. Everything just acted like him. Okay, now, I was beginning to speak, but he cut me off. And he was saying something about America and what they were planning on doing. Hmm. Then I saw, a, I saw security guards who were standing at the edge of this very long table. For some reason, there was a tall, big, oh my goodness, it was a real big guy there. He was built like a wrestler and, like I said, tall. Okay, now he didn't speak a word. But this guy looked like some kind of a beast or something. Really weird. Okay, then Donald Trump. Uh, Pat's two cents. Yeah, that beast part. Hmm, is he getting ready to manifest? Okay, quite. Okay, let's go back to the dream. Then Donald Trump continued on talking about some kind of a plan they had. Now, I don't know if it was for America or for any other country. Then someone spoke, and for some reason, that tall man that looked like a wrestler that I was talking about, he came up and took the guy's head off. Then he started to take people's heads off with a knife. I rushed out of there and left that house. <laughs> I think I got bitten by a mosquito or something weird in the dream, but I got out of there. I got out of Dodge quick, fast, and hurry. Okay. Now, I always put my spin on Anthony's dreams, but now I'm going to finish with Pat's two cents. Listen, we have no idea what kind of plans are of mice and men, so to speak, are being laid right now. But one thing we can count on, the plans are based on greed, deceit, manipulating the population now this is Pat's two cents this is my insight I may be as wrong as two left shoes but I'm gonna share this and whatever opinions you have share them with us cuz we're all just speculating right now since they the powers that be in the evil realm are leaving us in the dark but see, God's going to shed light on that darkness in the New York Minute. Okay, listen. I believe that there's a lot of manipulation going. I believe that we are going to start seeing more riots because of the choices and the laws Donald Trump privately passes. And I believe it is on purpose. I believe that's one of the plans. Let's cause America to implode when people self-destruct, ergo diminishing the population. Now, we know that for the most part, now I'm not condemning anybody who's a Republican, but we know for the most part, Republican parties people that work in that arena with the politicians and behind the scenes with the money are usually aiming at propelling and and uplifting uh, giving the advantage to those that have and taking advantages away from those that have not that's always been a pattern we know that so 
for a lot of us who have gone with other parties it wasn't because we believed in everything they did some of it was just because they did less damage to the people to the poor to the sick to the veterans to the seniors to the widows to the orphans to the children period now a lot of the powers that be have this thing called human trafficking trust me when i say i honestly believe the government finances a lot of that and if not the government in particular politicians in general specific ones that have their little hand in that till pocketing them bucks at these children's expenses now here's another one I believe that a lot of the sicknesses the viruses just like AIDS they're finally coming out with what I always suspected and I've said it in videos before I ever heard it that AIDS was planted in Africa planted just like syphilis was planted right in the backs of black men in the Tuskegee experiments now let's move on past that I believe that the food that we're eating now the food especially processed foods GMOs Monsanto all of these companies are you know the genetically modified foods and all of that believe it or not sweetheart in time it's a progression they don't care how fast they kill or how slow they kill just get the job done because in sickness in misery in infirmity in pharmaceutical drugs in surgeries there is big money to be made okay for those that play the little game up there and we are like little puppets dancing along to their tune oh I have to go to the doctor and get this prescription oh the doctor said I need that prescription and the doctor said I have this and the doctor said I have that and the doctor said I need to go on this and I mean after a while it's like are these people really needing to go on this stuff or are they being told are they given things that add insult to injury that create side effects that cause symptoms that propel more and more sickness it's like no don't kill them right away because as long as they're sick we can make some money honey so there are a lot of schemes don't be surprised when it comes to greed you don't count i don't count grandma doesn't count the kids don't count guess what nobody counts but the elite and those that run the money in this world and i believe that all these people are together running the money in the countries manipulating the economy manipulating the weather causing disasters because they need things to rise and fall in stocks and all kind of stuff so they can manipulate the money right into their pockets while they suck the money out of ours it is so sad but see here's the trip god sees and he knows he knows and he sees and he may not be saying anything but trust me he's laying out a plan of his own and when he gets through orchestrating his plan on our behalf trust me baby the world is gonna see payback payback is a dog and i gotta say it streetwise God don't like ugly. So we need to get together, 
I'm going to give you some warnings. Read your labels. Read your labels. You have got to read your labels. When you see things that have, that, that if you see labels and they don't say non-GMO, run. If you see uh, watermelon, seedless watermelon, leave it alone. Nine times out of ten, it's GMO. You see the broccoli and the cauliflower combined? Cut it loose, baby. Watch your corn. Every vegetable you eat should be organic, non-GMO, not treated with pesticides. Read your labels, you guys. This is a systematic killing of the masses. I believe it. Now, you can call me a conspiracy theorist, uh, theorist all you want, but you walk through some, uh, uh, go through, I, I challenge you, go to some of these um, dialysis clinics. The numbers are ridiculous. How many people's kidneys are dying? They didn't used to have that crap back when I was a kid. But dialysis is, is, is big buck money. I mean, that's big business right there. Cancer? Oh, yeah. Well, that speaks for itself. Big money, baby. You're going to see them creating diseases, plagues, pestilences, all kind of crap. Because... It puts money in the pockets. No money, no honey. But they got the honey. They got the money. But they forget many of us have the big gun. And that's God. The big G. And they're going to be surprised one day. They're going to be horrified. Because they're going to lock themselves in a pit that they cannot climb out. They won't be able to climb out of it. Trust me. So we just need to be weary. That's why the Bible says watch and pray. Read your labels. Read your processed food. Stay away from TV dinner. Stay away from canned foods. Stay away from all these crazy snacks. You read the ingredients in, 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 in some of these bag of, uh, uh, bags of uh, crunchies and munchies. Look at the sodium levels. Look at soups. Who needs a thousand milligrams of sodium in one cup of soup? That's not per can. That's per serving. Look at some of the TV dinners, 1,600 milligrams of sodium. And you wonder why everybody's health is going cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Come on. Okay. See, I'm ranting now. So, just be patient with me. I'm still human. But it does make me angry to see how people's lives are being ripped out from under them. Just being ripped off. Kids losing their mothers. Mothers losing their children. Because of these sinful games. God bless you. And yeah, we need to pray big time. Because this stuff needs to stop. And we need to start shutting down, pulling down, binding down strongholds. And, 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 and hindering these demons from hindering us from living a life. God bless you.